Good evening ladies and gents, welcome to a GameStar presentation. Tonight we have a game for number one on the CG open ladder for the League of Legends. My name is Coldblood and helping me in bringing this to you, appearing just in the nick of time to give me a hand, it is Scrib. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great and yes, just in the nick of time for this excellent spot, uh, game for spot number one on the CG ladder I do believe. Uh, Bayleave versus insert name here which was previously Elysium Gaming Team 2. Yeah, they uh, they are looking for sponsorship, so if any companies like what they see, you can get on to I Am Woodsy. He's uh, looking for sponsorship. So I've got a quote from Jax here, Scrib, which I'll play quickly. This is what Macca said when they got challenged. Let's do this. And, yep, there we go. That's done. <laughs> so, we're into the lobby here, Scrim. Oriana, Zed, and Renekton being banned out by Insert Name here. And Bayleaf, they've banned out the Fizz Udyr, which is actually a really uh, strange ban, and they're just deliberating on their six. It will be the TF. Yeah, um, is the is the Udyr ban targeted? Would you know? Um, I would have that? to assume so. Uh, these players play against each other quite a lot, like, uh, maybe not very recently because uh, the insert name here guys didn't know that Frozen King changed his, oh well used to be Sasuke and now changed oh, okay. his name so I, I assume these players play against each other a lot there's some fairly targeted bands in there mm. and uh, McNugget's going to swoop up the Riku so he could really go top mid or jungle for now we'd assume jungle yep the blind monk either in top mid or jungle now and the Nasus and Siva being picked up, or haven't been picked up just yet. I would love to see some here. Sphere. I would love to, I would love to see both of those picks, actually. Yeah, that would be sweet. I'd love to see how we go. Shout out to Georgie93, who is watching Sasuke or Frozen King. They have exams tomorrow, but they're going to be spending their time on League. Always a good use of time. And Jakey is saying Mac got imported from South Korea, so... There you go, they've got an Asian on their team, they're probably going to win here, Scrib, as the Severe and Narcissus <laughs> will be locked in, so this is going to be very cool. Very, very uh, interesting picks by Insert Name here. Um, last game, uh, Insert Name here, they did know Bayleaf was watching uh, Insert Name's last game for the number one spot, because they knew they were going to be challenging them, so... As you said, they may have been practicing against each other, the Volley Bear and Zyra uh, have been hovered over by Bayleaf here. Oh, I'm not sure about the volley because if, that would mean uh, Lee Sin most likely heading into a lane and he's, he's fairly easy to deal with if you pick someone who's good against him. Zyra I would be uh, more willing to say is going to be picked up and oh, the volley bear is going to get locked in here script so we'll be having a lane Lee Sin unless something crazy is going on. And Sanwa has not yet decided what he wants to go with. It will be the Zyra. Or someone said Zira. I, d I don't actually know which one it is. Um, I would, I'd presume it's Zyra, but yeah. And I just realized I called uh, insert name here Bayleaf, so don't, <laughs> don't uh, pick me up on that one. I do, I do realize I have gone wrong. But anyway, Frozen King um, on the eve. Oh, okay. Don't think that's... Can it? Oh, actually, no. That could be locked in. We don't. She is most likely going to be played in the jungle if she does get locked in, and they don't have a jungler there at the moment. But Zillin, Zillin, Zillion. Very interesting pick. Yeah, that'd um, be very cool. That's a lot of early bursts between the Severe and the Zillion, although, of course, probably shouldn't talk about it until they actually lock it yeah. in. So, yeah. there's a lot of early game potential between the Lee Sin and the Zyra for insert name here, so I wouldn't be surprised to see some early game powerhouses, particularly since they're investing in the Narcissus. This is Bayleave, of course. And they're going to decide on the Thresh J4. So... I, it looks like the Narcissus is potentially going up against the Lee Sin in the top lane, if we'd have to assume that, and that could be quite difficult early on for Narcissus, as 
Lee Sin obviously not constrained by mana. The Ash instantly going to be locked in. That was a very popular combo uh, back in the later part of the summer split of the LCS. The Ash Zyra just has so much lockdown potential, mm. particularly when they hit level 6. So they're going to be running that. And of course, they have a lot of initiation between those two. And now the mid laner being decided on here. Of course, they don't know who's going to be mid unless it's a crazy assassin J4, but probably not. So whoever they pick is most likely going to be counterpicked. Yes, and talking about lockdown and initiation, we've got a lease in here. We've got the Volibear Toss. We've got the Zyra Tangle. We've got Aisha's Arrow, her slow. We've got Ari, which is a very all-in type of AP. She's going to be able to blow up Siva if she gets a hold of her. Uh, we have seen Iron Woodsy on his Ari mm -hmm. in uh, paired up with Maka on the Lee Sin. Wasn't so... he the only one who didn't do well on his team? <laughs> who, the Ari? Yeah, I, I think like Top and Bot both did really well. No, no, no. Remember, it was um the it was Maka and Ari in, in um. Oh no, it wasn't. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, you're yeah. you're you're, I'm you're right. It was, <laughs> yeah, we got the. Remember that it was the fizz. But he got. did some really nice pickoffs later on in the game. So whoever the mid laner is for insert name here, potentially Maka, he's told me I have to look up uh look after him to see if there's some big plays that are gonna go on. And oh. uh, we are back in the lobby. So something's gone amiss here. Would have been to do with that last. Last pick, pick doesn't there. have Syndra. We we're making okay. Oh god. So <laughs> we'll, well be able to know who the last pick is. Yeah. Oh, that that'll be very interesting. The Syndra. I actually like that against the Ari because it doesn't matter if Ari's darting around her. She just takes seven balls to the face and dies instantly. Yeah. It's a, anyway, but um, it seems like he is back in, and the game's going to go underway straight away. Hopefully, the bands and picks go out fairly fast, they know who they're going and Or they're just going to ban whatever they feel like. For those who are yeah. unaware, we do black out the summoners just so if the players are being a bit sneaky, they can't see what the other side's running until they're in the loading screen and they'll be able to see already. So, uh, we'll be getting uh, in here very quickly, Scrib. And I'm pretty excited to see if Bayleaf, who are currently at number three, they were number two until uh, when Elysium Gaming, now in certain name here, won last time. It's uh, they're now number three, so they'll definitely be looking for the win. Yeah, we'll see if our insert name here can hold on to that number. This is their first um, defending of the uh, number one spot. Is, am I correct? <laughs> Yes, That's they bad. only just managed to get it in the last game, I believe. Oh, okay, yep. Last game awesome. that, we, that we covered. So, I am Woodsy being a little bit of a scumbag there, but he does go to the pick that we knew that he would take. And Syndra is going to be the pickup. So, this is going to be very exciting to watch, particularly the Bayleaf guys pulling out some champions that aren't necessarily the most popular. We're not going to reveal who is where just until... Uh, until we're into the loading screen. What are we thinking about these compositions moving into the mid-game script? Because we've seen both these teams before, and they're both very strong in the mid-game. They capitalize on their advantages very well. Yeah, they, they do indeed. I mean, uh, insert name here's team. I mean, we, we, we're going to have to, like, either Lee or Volley, we're going to have to assume it is going to be laning. One of them is going to be laning, so not... You, you, you more see them both in the jungle. I mean, Lee does get played top, but um, it is going to be interesting to see which one of them does go in the laning phase and how they are going to go up against uh, the Nasus top, because they will be going top lane most likely. I mean, as you said, Nasus's early game isn't really the best. I mean, he yes. needs to get those Q stacks, he needs to get the farm, he needs to get a few items before he can really... Well, not a few items, he just needs to get one or two. Mm -hmm before he can start doing some real damage. Yeah, the levels are what is important for him, obviously. And we can now reveal the summoners and will actually be Volibear up at the top. And I know he's capable of a fair bit of damage himself. He's also very, very difficult to take down early on, even if you've got a lot of damage, which Narsus does not at the start. So I'm not sure about that pick by insert name here. They kind of... They're going to be letting Narsus farm unless they get really aggressive with that Volibear Lee Sin combo. Now, in the mid, we touched on it briefly, Scrub, it will be Ari versus Syndra. They both have uh, K-pop style dances, which is completely irrelevant. 
What are we thinking there? I, I love seeing Syndra, and when she's played masterfully, there's very few champions that can beat her. So, what are we thinking about that one? Yeah, well, uh, her sk I find her skill cap's rather high as a champion, Syndra. As you said, it, if if she's mastered correctly, she becomes a one hell of a champion. Ari, Ari and Syndra, hmm, well... It just it just all depends. I mean, they if both I, kind of rely on pickoffs, don't they? Yeah, they 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 both rely on um, yeah, pickoffs pickoffs as you said. So I mean, I think it's really just going to come all down to the jungler. I mean, whether they're going to go for the early gank. I mean, I know Ari's going to be able to use her ult defensively. I guess you could say if she's looking to get ganked or if Syndra's going to set up a kill on her otherwise. Um, but as you said, I mean, you've got Ari's charm, you've got the Syndra slow, you've got the harass from the ball, and then they are yeah, both using balls actually. And yeah, then, oh, um, they do too. <laughs> and yeah, it's just it's just going to be uh, relying on farm, I guess, farm junglers. Yeah, I was just having a look at Mendrix's runes and masteries. He's gone full attack speed and at 21.9. So he's definitely looking to get some kills early on. And I mean, that bite damage gets pretty damn ridiculous. wanted to give a shout out to Klingo in the chat, who is talking about Macca's famous AP Lee Sin. I don't think we'll be seeing that here, uh, unless he really likes the shields. And uh, what are we thinking about bot lane here, Scrib? Oh yes, bot lane. So we've got the Siva Thresh against what we can assume is going to be the Aish and Zyra. Um, or, yeah, Aish and Zyra we can assume. Aish? Um, I've never heard that one before. <laughs> oh, I, call it, I don't call it Ash, I call it Aish. Okay, so it'll be, uh, well, we're arguing about both the, the AD carries names. Yeah, well, I, I I got into this argument with a like a mate the other day. It was like the e on the end of the name doesn't that make the vowel a turn into a instead of a a? Uh, I H guess turn yeah. Into a H You'd think that it would, but uh. Oh, the English language is just screwed up. It is general, very silly. So. Yeah, I think it's the second hardest language to learn. Someone was saying. Apparently, it's the first. I've heard it's the first hardest language. Oh, but... there must be one. I think it's like Mandarin or something's the hardest. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> I don't know. Something uh, like that. <laughs> so, skin battle, nonetheless. Yep, we'll be moving into the skin battle here as soon as the game decides to load up. If anyone in the Twitch chat wants to say how Ash and Severe are um, are pronounced, Scrib reckons Ash and Siver. So, yeah, Siver. I'm not I sure which one it will be. Finally into the skin battle here, Scrib, and immediately we notice that there's no skin on Astro Boy on the Severe. We'll have to see if he can utilize those spell shields to dodge maybe a Grasping Roots. Or an Enchanted Crystal Arrow. We've got the Commando J4. We've got the Championship Thresh. And it looks like Insert Name here going to take this one away. We get to see the Haunted Zyra. Hopefully Sunwell. I think we had this uh, discussion last time, actually, Scrib. I, I don't think he oh, died yes. too much. And when this Zyra skin dies, she has like the creep. She's like impaled on this grave mm. thing. And it's like, holy heck. <laughs> Yeah, I remember you were telling me, and I was like, oh, I better, better look down and bot lane, but then all the action was on the mid lane with the Lee Sin ganks and all yeah, that. And then, yeah, yeah. So we really know that, um, and actually, I, I believe it was Frozen King that pointed out to us that the insert name here, guys, they've got a style of getting the mid laner fed thanks to the jungle. Mm. So we'll have to see if that indeed happens in this game, although obviously Bayleave are going to be well aware of it. And uh, check Macca's runes, he's running AP Reds. We didn't get to see that one. So we'll have to see if uh, the Riku has some, has some AP on him, Scrib. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, as as you said, yeah, Frozen King did point out that a, uh, the uh, insert name here teams does, their jungler does like to focus on the mid lane. He has picked up Lee Sin again. Uh, he did an excellent job on Lee Sin uh, on the game mm -hmm. to win his... Uh, team number one spot on CG ladder. I think he got away with MVP as well. Yeah, as is. I think we did give it to him. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Maka got that MVP. So we shall see how he does uh, in the game today as we go into the Summoner's Rift and the game starts and both teams leave their pool with their items and hopefully we can get into some level shenanigans. 
Yeah, well, both teams, I mean, they've both got really strong level 1 power. There's the vision potential of J4. There's the hooks from Thresh. There's the team-wide roots from Zyra, only being 0. 0.75 seconds. But, oh, Volleybear can also flip, I guess. So, we'll go through the teams here. Scripps, so representing, insert name here, formerly Elysium Gaming Team 2. It will be McNugget XD on the Crystal Ash. His partner in crime will be Sunwa on the Zira, or Zyra. We'll have Mendrix on on the top volley bear, Maka on the Riku, and rounding them out will be I am Woodsy on the Firefox Ari. And uh, for Team Bayleaf, we have Astro Boy on that Sivar. We have uh, Frozen King, formerly Sasuke Uchina, I Sasuke? think it was. So, oh, yeah, something. I didn't crazy. know about the extra stuff. <laughs> yeah, it had it had it was Sasuke something starting with you. I've totally forgotten, but he is on the Thresh supporting Astro Boy. Then we have uh, Death. Deathify on J4, Jarvan in the jungle, then we have Liggy Bro on the Nasus at top, and then Peace on the Syndra. Now we're going to look like we are going to have some level 1 shenanigans, they do get spotted by this whole team, they are going to initiate the charm, goes out onto the J4, the hook gets landed onto Maka, Ignite, and gets caught by that boomerang, forced to flash out, dropped very, very low, looks like they are going to have to forfeit their red, they are getting split up a little bit, Zyra away from her team, two offensive wards get placed down, and it looks like Team Bailey are just going to back off there and just go uh, secure their blue buff. But it did give Lee Sin a little bit of a... Uh, bit of a bit scare. Of a, yeah, a bit of a scare. And he has used two of his health pots in already. And yeah, so it's going to make him a little bit harder to farm. He's going to have to go back earlier than he wanted to. But everyone just assuming their lanes right now. It looks like Aish is going to see the Sivar before they're going to like collide a little bit. Boomerang getting off... Uh, Thresh's hook just missing the Aish down in the bot <laughs> lane, and now that Aish. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't thought, know I which one it is. Ash. It well, makes you sense your reasoning, but it, it just Ash makes so much more sense to me. I know. It's I'm gonna a, have a giggle to myself every time I hear Aish. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a more common name. I understand. It. When, where is all the viewers that are good at English? They need to help us out. Oh, well, I, I think the chat was exploding with uh, trash talk for poor Maka, who was forced to flash in exchange for pieces ignite. Oh, so, actually, we might. While we're at it, we might fix things. Oh, Maka gets uh, gone on to by the J4. A lot of harass going out. Zyra coming in to help her jungler out. Maka trying to uh, steal the. Uh, Buff, he does get caught out again, and here goes first blood, that ref blood, red buff is going to slow him down, and Syndra is going to pick it up and get double buffs for her mid lane, so there you go. As we said, they do like to concentrate on their mid lane, but it looks like PC is going to have a bit of an easier laning phase with that double buff, she's going to be able to chuck out her balls a lot, a lot quicker. It looks like Volibear has pushed his lane, he's just going to back fairly quickly, and uh... Bot lane, Asian Zyra is also pushing up fairly, playing fairly aggressive. Astro Boy taking uh, quite a bit of harass there from the plants and the Ace auto attacks. The lantern does come out for her if she wants to take it to jump to the thresh. She is dropped awfully though, the low though, and may have to back up soon in that bot lane. So, a lot of, a lot of action going on in the early game, but only one kill to uh, Bayleaf's team. Yeah, that was a very interesting play from uh, Maka on the Lee Sin. He had his flash blown and then he decided to be aggressive anyway. Uh, managed to blow the flash of peace, but I mean, when they pick up first blood and double buffs for something that snowballs so well, it's a little bit of a worry. Maka's going to be running into Death of Fire here. Does he have any way of getting out? He is going to shield to McNugget XD, who's going to try and flash out. Gets knocked up by the J4. Will not be enough to get out. And J4 going to walk away with that one. Death of Fire is going to be very happy with that one. Not the best start for insert name here, but their late game fairly, or well, at least their mid game is absolutely tremendous between uh, the Ash, the Ari, even the Volley Bear if he decides to build some damage, which it looks like he will. So, a little bit of a setback for the defenders here, Scrib. Yeah, well, I don't I don't know if Deathify knew that a, a tower dive was coming up there. I mean, Sivir did decide to stay next to her on uh, minuscule HP. Her shield was blown in that tower dive, but uh, yeah, caught in that tribe with Shmaka playing fairly aggressive again at level mm. 3 and uh, it would he... have been really good if J4 wasn't there though like Astro Boy certainly would have mm. died and they probably would have gotten away with it 
So it's just kind of unlucky by them, really well played by Death of Fire to be in the right place at the right time. It looks like we have a pause from the Bayleaf guys. And yeah, so poor Maka, he's not having the best game so far, but surely he'll be able to pull it back up for himself. He's very talented. Oh, that he is, as we have seen him play before, he is, uh, I guess you could say, a pretty good lease in player in the jungle. Um, but it, as, as Bailey um, pointed out to us, they do like to pay attention on the mid lane, and um, I'm not too sure how Maka is going to be able to pay too much attention on his mid lane. I mean, he has got, he is dropped like behind in the early stages of the game. And uh, we'll see if he can actually uh, land a kill onto Peace with his double buffs. I mean, he was setting up for one just then. He does want his double buffs back, but it looks like he's just going to return to farming. In, uh, gone to his golems, and uh, looking at the top lane, there's not much happening. There's just uh, the uh, good old top AD bruises just farming here and there, giving each other a bit of harass. I mean, Nasus is going to be able to sustain that back with his Qs. Once the game goes on, he's going to be even more. Mendrix drops fairly low there. And uh, looking at the CS, he is on 31, Nasus on 24. Oh, he down at the bottom lane, we see Sunwa going forward just a little bit too far. Flashes are blown and not a lot done. Looks like we missed something in the mid lane there, Scrib, oh, but bottom nugget. lane is not yet finished. His BL Frozen King falling very, very low. Does manage to be picked up by the Ash Ashra boy trying to run after. He is going to get the fleet of foot proc from his passive. Will it be enough to get the kill? He does get off a another auto attack and manages to walk away with a kill for himself. So a one for one trade there and we missed something going on in the mid lane. Scrib, did you manage to pick that one up? I did not see that at all, but it looks like both junglers are there, and who? Did anyone fall down? I believe it was the Ari. I am Woodsy. So, uh, Woodsy has has dropped down. I mean, there you go. Pace. I don't know if she used the double buffs to her um, advantage. Oh, she was definitely I, I, zoning poor Woodsy out before that. Yeah, I, I saw both junglers were there or, or, or around about there. I'm not too sure if Maka was actually there for the gank on uh, the mid lane, but he was there shortly afterwards, uh, just picking up the few CS. But I think that's the shortest possible range I've ever seen a Thresh Arrow being hooked down there in the bottom lane. I mean, I think... Who, who, who did he hook again? It was the... um. It was the Zyra or the Ash, but I mean, they were standing right next to him, and next thing you know, he's just pulling her back into his brush, like, nah, you're coming this way, not that way. <laughs> and then, yeah, uh, the pink ward down on the dragon bar, so it looks like they are going to try to secure dragon fairly early, just making sure they have vision on there. Thresh doing a little bit of a, a little, little roam down there, while uh, his bot lane Siva comes back. Oh, I guess he has taken all of the flack from the Twitch chat, so he decides to head on up and see what's going on. Macker again trying to make the plays as Deathify going to get the smite off on the red buff there. Liggy Bro coming in along with Peace. Are they going to go for it? No, Mendrix is going to flip Liggy Bro into his jungle. The ultimate going to go out from Peace, and it does a huge amount of damage. Mendrix is going to be knocked up here. He's going to have his passive buff, but it's not going to be enough to survive. Double double kill for pieces I'm Woodsy forced to blow the ult to get out of there things looking very grim for insert name here yeah, well there you go there's the Ari uh, ult he used defensively I mean she she had real other no choice I mean as you saw Nasus did have that um... oh we'll just jump back 15 seconds and see what happened down here script so looks like McNugget XD was just trying to push the tower but he goes a little bit too far forward nice Stranglethorn's going to come out from Sunwa but beautiful death sentence oh. comes out from Frozen King and Astro Boy will pick that one up with a point blank boomerang blade so even more advantages for Bayleaf here as they're going to pick themselves up a dragon and be about three and a half thousand k three oh three and a half thousand in the lead yeah that that death sentence through those minions i mean that was that was awesome play by uh frozen king down in the bot lane uh there you go they're just clearing out the tribal schwartz they're denying these guys vision they're denying them uh cs kills in the mid lane i mean they're off to a a fairly, really, really strong start. As you said, the god leads <coughs> almost 5k, just lacking 4.3k at the moment. I mean, whether that's at the level, the top lane 
volley has got 45 to 44, so they're fairly even. The mid lane is what we have to look at. I mean, Ari was getting um, zoned, as you said, by the piece with the double buff, and piece is on 73 minion kills to Ari's 45, and not to mention those four kills she's picked herself up, including the first blood. Yeah, she's got 1,800 and... Hang on, hang on, how much? 1,801 gold as she goes back, so she could look up... She could uh, look at picking up a needlessly large rod or could go uh, finish off the grail and pick herself up some boots and another door and drink, something like that. So I, I wanted to talk about the Cinder a little bit here, Scrib. Uh, I really liked her when she came out, so I started playing her. And there was a lot of complaining from LeBlanc players because the maximum burst possible from a LeBlanc was something like 890 at level 6. And Syndra mm -hmm. was actually capable of 920, so more burst than the blank, while having a couple of forms of CC and AoE on like all of her abilities. So you saw the power of it right there. Peace using Syndra to absolute dominance with that ultimate order. I think it's Unleashed Power or something. Yep, that is the name of yep. the ult. As she's going to go back, spend the gold she's managed to save up. And of course, she's only going to get stronger because the Transcendent Ultimate means Dark Sphere is going to do even more damage to champions once she hits the level 9. She's not actually going to go back yet as Licky Bro going to pick himself up the Wraiths. Death of Fight going to do some scouting at the red and Maka. He does have the Dragon's Rage now. It looks like he knows where he is needed as yet another pause goes out. Yeah, well, Peace saw him there as uh, Maka there, as she does have that water. Looks like she is just going to stay in the lane until her uh, blue uh, buff runs out, or at least her double buff. She's going to use those buffs to the maximum of her ability. Um, but yeah, I mean, she she does have crazy amounts of burst, and um, if she picks up that Death Fire Grass, she's going to be able to do just a whole lot more uh, to that Ari. The Ari doesn't really have many items to her name, she did, or core items at all. She has the two Dorans and Boots, and that's practically it. She's been denied farm. I mean, at 10 minutes in, she's only at 48. I mean, she's just going to need to farm from here on in, but Peace is just going to keep poking her back. She's, he's going to make sure that every time she wants to come in for a last hit, he's going to be chucking a ball on her. She, he's going to be slowing her with that AoE. He's going to be poking her back until eventually... He, he can even set up a kill or until her jungler has to come and respond to it. Yeah, for sure. He's only got 400 gold at the moment, so not nearly enough to pick up anything. He'd at least like to get the Fiendish Codex bit of CDR for his uh, ultimate, but he needs 820 for that. So poor Sunwa is uh, having some lag issues at the moment, which would explain why he kind of ran forward into the enemy. It's, uh not his fault obviously with the lag and Maka going to be heading over to the dragon and picking up the respawn on that the purple pings come out they leave know where he is meanwhile down at the bottom lane the CS is and um, um, McNugget XD is doing really damn well considering how this lane's been going for them with uh, only being behind by 10 the problem for him is Ash is like one of the most immobile champions and Syndra man if she can get a her um, burst down on you, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Looks like Maka was forced to flash out of a situation there as he got ignited. Death of Fight going to be Ooh. coming around here. Maka is going to jump on top of him. Nice Dragon's Rage away. Flash forward by Death of Fight. He does miss the Dragon's Rage combo, but he gets the Cataclysm off and mm. they managed to pick that one, that one up. Maka probably would have gone down to the Crystalline Arrow anyway as it flies past and another pickup for the Bayleaf guys. Yeah, I mean, Deathify doing a great, great job on this J4 jungle. He's uh, utilizing, he's trying to set up ganks here and there. And talking about a gank, I am Woodsy missing that charm on the Thresh. He doesn't chuck out the death sentence just yet. Uh, just decides to back off as Syndra wasn't really in the right spot to uh, do any serious damage. And she finally goes back and does pick up that Athene's Unholy Grail boots and the Dorans. Okay, so I actually uh, made a mistake there. Ash is on Macca's team, on McNugget, so the arrow was defensive, and it would have been pretty yeah. good if it had got there in time, but unfortunately, did get picked off by the rampaging J4, who has himself the spirit of the ancient golem. And, yeah, so 
four and a half thousand gold in Bayleaf's favor, and they do have the Narsus, which is going to be very hard to kite. Looks like a lot of damage going to be going down onto Frozen King at the bottom lane, but he does manage to get out, and now on the hunt comes out from Astro Boy. McNugget not going to be able to come out of here, but Iron Woodsy going to come in and lend the charm onto Astro Boy. Going to be falling here for sure. No, the barrier is going to save him. No, Sunway flashes forward and manages to secure that one. Me meanwhile, Iron Woodsy going to fall to oh, Syndra, peace. and Syndra going to be coming down now, Deathify falling lower and lower, Peace going to pick that one up for himself, as uh, Rampage is picked up by him, Sunwa going to be falling as well, double kill for Peace, this Syndra is going ballistic, 7 0 at the moment. Yeah, and like, Ace just got out in the nick of time, she was on very minuscule HP, I mean, she, he could have even picked himself up a triple kill there, I'm surprised they didn't decide to push that bottom lane, I mean, having all three of them there, but Maka was nowhere to be seen in the bot lane. He really couldn't respond to that very well. He he needs to get his second round of buffs and let and see what he can do with those gankings. I mean, Peace does know he's there with that ward at the thing. He's going to apply a bit of damage. There goes the stun. I mean, she does deny him the big wraith as well. She's uh, just sitting there. Am I lagging or? No, I think they're just both sitting there. <laughs> Oh, they're both just sitting. I thought I just fully lagged out. Yeah, then. I thought I did too, but then I looked at the map and it's like, wow. Wait, was Mac a DC? Like. What happened there? Oh, he said, leave oh. me alone in all chat, and Peace said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, there you go. She didn't decide to pick up a. Oh, Deathify may not be an feeling Ooh. just generous, though. Mac it does manage to get that red for himself, and he uses the Dragon's Rage. Can he possibly get out here? He has been slowed by Deathify with the shield, and Cataclysm mm -hmm. once again going to be used to secure that one. So Bayleaf picking up. Yet a, another one. Meanwhile, down at the bottom lane, McNugget is going to use the Crystalline Arrow and freeze Frozen Knight under the tower. He's still under the tower. Beautiful play from Sunwa and McNugget there as Astro Boy taking more and more damage from the plant, but Boomerang Blade will secure him the ash as the burst from Peace is ridiculous. Takes Sunwa down as Iron Woodsy Peace. can. He gets some revenge here. He has the charm on. He's got the amplified damage. Will he be able to pick it up? No. He runs out of mana and Peace manages to pick that one up. Up for himself as well, 9 0 0. That was incredibly unlucky for the R. He's sitting in that tri bush waiting for them to come up. Peace getting dropped very, very low, and Ari almost walking back to her base with uh, or respawning with a big chunk of gold for the bonus that they will get for killing the Syndra. But everyone decides to back. Uh, go back to their base and by Deathify doing a great job with keeping vision down on the enemy's team's jungle. He knows where that Lee Sin is like practically all the time. He is denying him buffs, denying him kills. He's responding to Lee Sin's ganks. He's there wherever he is going and it's it's working out for him like a lot and paying attention to the top line still. Volibear just ahead of him in the CS. Nasus Let's take a look at his stacks. He is on 126, and talking about Nasus dropping Mendrix low with a Q. The ulti being popped, and he is just going to sustain all that health back with those attack speed runes and on those minions. But Liggy Bro pops out the Wither on Mendrix. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to get a Q onto him. Yes, will he will, but. Oh, Mendrix in the off. mid lane, a lot of damage going to get on, uh, onto Iron Woodsy and Maka. I think he knows he can't get out of that one. He's going to try and flash away, but Demacia screams J4 as he jumps over the wall. And another one going to be picked up there. So, looks like Bayleaf may be at the top of the ladder soon if this is going to continue. Scrib, they are at a 7,000 gold lead at the moment. Their Narcissus is basically free farming, and they're going to pick up the second of two dragons in the game. Crystalline Arrow going to go off, not do too much. Sunwa going to pop down the strangled thorns, but it won't do enough. Can the after death... Look at that creepy thing there. Yeah, yeah I was <laughs> just about to say it. There you go. Look at that thing. Okay, so McNugget XD going to try and pick himself up the golems. Here's E only giving him 66 gold. And the uh, there's no towers being taken down by Bayleaf yet, which is surprising. 
but it looks like they're going to work on rectifying that now as Severe, very strong pusher, and Narcissus very strong himself as I am Woodsy doing some nice dodging there, manages to walk away with his life. Maka, I'm just trying to, just, Liggy Bro's just farming <laughs> between the turrets, and Maka's sitting there, can't really do much to him, Hendrix, I try to kill him, he missed a few cues, I... I can't see the old chat at the moment, but I mean, I think Liggy Bro's just having a, his pain, he's just saying hey to the matcha. But here comes Stresh and J4, it looks like they are going to kill him, there goes the winner, there goes the death sentence. He's going to get jumped on by three enemy teams, but Ari is there, she tried to pay, she tried to come in for a little bit of the party. Thresh getting dropped incredibly low, uh, uh, Ignite going out onto the Thresh, double kill from the Nasus on the Volley Bear as he popped his head out, I am Woozy. Missing the charm, J4 staying around in that tribal. She's gonna. He, he wants a bit of this Ari, but doesn't look like he's gonna get it. I am Woods is just gonna stay around that tower, and Deathify is in no real state to tower dive. But he is gonna deny Maka or Ari. He would have given it to another blue, and there you go. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what Mac is doing at the moment. He seems to be just running up and not doing much. To be fair, he's been shut down quite hard from the word go after being forced to blow his flash in his own jungle and then deciding to go into the enemy team's jungle piece, oh, going to pick up another kill here God. after landing that stun. So, <laughs> poor Mac at the 08, de determined to prove us wrong with the Lee Singer plays. The, the, it was the, like, there's just nothing he could do. He got stunned under his own tower then. There's the full potential of... Um, Syndra uh, burst, especially a Syndra with 11 kills. Uh, it was just crazy. The, that ult is just nuts. Yeah, once you get uh, knocked uh, or knocked aside by the uh, what is it, the Dark Sphere scatter the weak combo, you do get stunned for a little bit, and it allows another Dark Sphere and the Unleashed Power to go down. And it looks like the GG is being called in Twitch chat by Liggy Bro which means that the game probably going to end quite soon here, Scrib, which isn't too much of a stretch of the imagination, I guess. So, mm. very well played by B Bayleaf here. They definitely came in with a plan and executed it very well. And unfortunately, in certain name here, they just couldn't get any momentum rolling. The um, the top lane, Mendrix, he did fairly well, but when you go even with a Narcissus, it's not even even, you know? Yeah, exactly. I mean, when you're going even with the Narcissus, he's just going to get stronger late game. Those Q stacks are going to get bigger. A big tower dive onto the H that he's giving himself another kill. He, he's I'm just, just going to jump back 15 to... seconds there, Scrib, because something, something no pretty worries. funny happened. McNuggety, he flashes away from the unleashed power. So what happens here? It does follow him over the wall. <laughs> as uh, Sunwise's been doing some really good strangle thorns. Like, he knows the perfect time to use them. It's just too little, too late. Yeah, and it's, it's his team really can't just no, lay can't out any damage. I mean, there you go. Mendrix getting landed with the death sentence, forced to flash away with it going out on him. But he is going to survive. I mean, they're just trying to defend at this mid turret here. Maka coming in from behind is is determined to go. No, he's going to run to the tower. Yep, he's going <laughs> to dance party in the middle lane for Maka as uh, the death sentence gets onto the minion. Instead of Mendrix, they're going to tower dive onto the Mendrix. Mendrix fallen very low. Astro Boy picking up the kill. Uh, Maka still uh, having his own dance party in the middle. And uh, Big Arashero comes out, lands onto the Jarvan, but the tower is still going to fall. Auri taking massive amounts of damage, forced to flash, I mean forced to pop that ulti. They switch onto Aish, and there's the big damage from Peace again, picking himself up another kill. They are surely going to take this inhibitor and most likely the win. Yeah, I, I'd say. Well, it's... Most likely, I'd, I'd say it, it's. Yeah. It's, it's a... <laughs> Even if it wasn't ruined, we'd know that the uh, game ends. There we go. So, Bayleaf, after a dominating performance, going to pick up number one on the CG ladder script. That was very well played, and uh, definitely look forward to insert name here going for a bit of comeback. Yeah, Bayleaf really did show why they are deserved that number one spot, and uh, they're going to try and hold on to it for as long as they can. But of course, people are going to be challenging them, and yeah. But a great game nonetheless. Time for MVP. Okay, so I've got half a mind to hand it to Defify. His uh, his J4 play was very mm. good. But I think Peace, like, uh, he 
um, got the first blood by doing a very nice flash over the wall onto Maka, who may have potentially gotten out, and then definitely snowballed the mid and bottom lanes for his team. So I think we should hand it to Peace. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the Syndra plays, but of course, as you said, Deathify, very, very amazing. Um, J4 plays three of uh, Bayleaf's teams going out there with uh, zero deaths, so props to them. Okay, so we'll be looking forward to the Revenge Challenge by Insert Name here. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. We really appreciate it. We hope this game could have been a little closer, but it was very well played by Believe. If you'd like your game to be shoutcasted by us, please head on over to the GameStar Facebook. It's in the bottom right-hand corner. Give us some details. We'd be very happy to oblige. Any parting words here, Scrib? Uh, none at all. Great game, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Okay, honorary MVP for Macca. This is Cobblood and Scrib signing out.